The main House is expecting to see the supplemental budget up for a vote tomorrow after a unanimous vote to advance it in the Appropriations Committee on Friday. As it stands now, the budget will provide $850 inflation relief checks to more than 850,000 eligible Mainers. It will also create some property tax relief and increase the earned income tax credit to help make more people make ends meet. House Chair of the Appropriations Committee, Teresa Pierce, says she's very happy with how the Appropriations Committee handled the supplemental budget, especially for finding funding for things such as battling PFAS and allowing for student debt relief. Maine leads the way in a lot of things, and what we're seeing across the nation is this divisiveness. And what we saw on Thursday night, early Friday morning, was a coming together to show that you can work together and get things done on behalf of your constituents and your people. House Republican leader Kathleen Dillingham says she thinks the House and Senate will bring some amendments to the floor, but overall, she says the Appropriations Committee came out with a good product. She says she's happy to see the expansion of check disbursements, structural tax change, and funding for child protective services. Dillingham says she'd like to see more funding for nursing homes and direct care workers. You know, everyone's always hesitant to um, amend a unanimous report from, from committee. So um, we want to make sure we see it passed and, and get that relief um, and support out to as many Mainers as we can as quickly as we can. If the House and Senate pass the supplemental budget with a two-thirds vote, it would go into effect immediately after Governor Mills signs it into law. If not, Mainers would be waiting at least 90 days after her signature to get their checks.